Ever wondered how big data handles time-sensitive data? Today, we'll talk about counting oneness and decaying window. These might sound like complex terms, but they're actually quite straightforward. Counting oneness is a technique where we count the occurrence of an event once regardless of how many times it actually happens within a given time frame or window. On the other hand, a decaying window is a technique where older data gradually loses its significance over time. Both of these concepts are vital when dealing with time-sensitive data in big data analysis. They allow us to manage and prioritize information in a way that is both efficient and effective. So whether you're developing algorithms, analyzing large data sets, or simply curious about the inner workings of big data, understanding these concepts is crucial. Now that you know what we're discussing today, let's dive deeper into counting oneness. Counting oneness sounds complex, doesn't it? But don't worry, we'll break it down. Imagine you're a concert organizer and you're keen on knowing how many unique attendees come to your shows over a specific time frame. You could keep track of every single ticket sold, but that would soon become an overwhelming task. Here's where counting oneness comes into play. In the realm of big data, counting oneness is a technique that allows us to keep track of unique elements, or in our example, unique concert goers over a specific time window. It's like having a special guest list, but this list only keeps track of unique attendees, ignoring any repeat visits. So, if a concert goer attends multiple shows within our specified time window, they're still counted as one. This gives us an accurate count of the unique attendees and helps us understand the diversity of our audience. Suppose we set our time window to a month. Using counting oneness, we can track how many unique concert goers we've had over that month. If the same person attends multiple shows within this month, they're only counted once. This method of counting is not limited to concert goers. In big data, it is used to track unique website visitors, unique product purchases, unique app users, and so on. The possibilities are truly endless. With the basics of counting oneness covered, we can now move on to its counterpart, the decaying window. Just like counting oneness, decaying window is equally significant. Let's unravel its workings. Now imagine you're observing a stream of data. This data is flowing continuously like water in a river. But unlike a river, you don't want to keep track of every single data point that ever passed. This is where decaying window comes into play. Decaying window is like a magical lens that allows you to focus on the most recent data while gradually forgetting the older ones. It provides a time decaying view of the data, making it easier to handle and analyze. Think of it as a smart filter that keeps your data relevant and manageable. Here's a simple illustration. Imagine you're monitoring the number of visitors to a website. You're interested in the latest trends, but you also don't want to completely ignore the past. With a decaying window, you can give more weight to recent visitors while still considering the older ones, but with less significance. Decaying window isn't just about forgetting old data, though. It's about striking a balance between the new and the old, the relevant and the less relevant. It's about maintaining a dynamic view of your data that changes and adapts over time. By now, you should have a good grip on both counting oneness and decaying window. But how do these concepts come together in big data analysis? Combining these two concepts is where the magic happens in big data analysis. Let's dive into how counting oneness and decaying window complement each other in this vast universe of big data. When we manage time-sensitive data, Counting oneness helps us keep track of the unique elements within a given time window, providing a snapshot of diversity. On the flip side, the decaying window concept allows us to weigh recent data more heavily, giving us an agile and adaptable perspective. It's like having a dynamic lens that focuses on the here and now, while still maintaining a view of the past. These two concepts, when used together, create a powerful tool for analyzing big data. They provide a comprehensive, adaptable and insightful view of time-sensitive data, enabling us to make informed decisions based on both the current state and historical trends. So there you have it. Counting oneness and decaying window, two powerful concepts in big data that help us make sense of time-sensitive data. Next time you're working with big data, remember these tools.